Chicago making a switch here. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burton for an update. Guys, over that last break, I listened to Eric Spolstra address his team. He's looking for whatever they have left in the tank. He said, I know it's been a hard-fought game, but now's not the time to leave anything in reserve. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I expect you to be going all out full speed. Guys, no, no. LeBron James on the wing. Ellen. He feeds it to Battier. Back to Allen. Just five to shoot. Launches a three. Knocked loose. Chicago leading by three. Noah kicks to Rose. Back to Noah. Inside. Takes it from ten. Here's Gibson. Feeds to Noah. A second chance effort. And the layup is good. And now a five-point Bulls lead. Purely from a size standpoint, that is a mismatch that's going to be hard to overcome defensively. Chalmers dishes to Allen. Back to Chalmers. The kick out to LeBron. Off the left, three and out. Chicago has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Heinrich with it, and Allen picks him up defensively. Outside Rose. Snell goes up on the wing. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. LeBron gets the screen from Bosch. LeBron kicks to Dadier. Lets it go from deep. Rebound by the Bulls. Noah's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Now here's Rose. Noah with a screen on Jones. Gibson inside. Stolen by Bosch. Rose against Chalmers to end the drought. And a foul caught on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. An excellent game we've seen from LeBron. He has 29 points and a steal. He's been their leader, stirring the drink at the offensive end. It's a good example, Clark, of, of how you set the table for the rest of your teammates. He's really brought focus and energy to this game. Free throw good, LeBron. Dwayne Wade's checked in for Miami. No good on the second free throw. Chicago leading by six. Here's Rose. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, you allow them to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, I think you got to foul them and free throws. Chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Well, it's been an outstanding game for them in the open court. Their fast break points really stand out. And they've really done a nice job on the glass, too. A lot of second-chance points here tonight. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. they got to keep fighting their way to the line, guys. This half has been nothing but success for them there. And their confidence has to just continue to go up the longer their perfection continues. Luol Dang is checked in for Chicago. Jimmy Butler comes in for Kirk Heinrich. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. They trail by eight. We've got 155. Carlos Breezer's checked in for Taz Gibson.
LeBron against Dang. LeBron passes to Wade. He kicks the box. Miami no good on that time either. Good percentage shot though. That's one they'll take any day of the week. Rose with the ball. Now guarded by Mario Jones. Pass to Butler. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. Six on the shot clock. Here's Rose. The nine footers on the mark. Rose has got 36. His work at the offensive end has been phenomenal. Maybe reason number one, they're ahead. Now the feed to Bosch. Back to Wade. He's moving the ball around. One oh seven left in the game. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Guys, he's shot a very good percentage today, and they need it. Such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. One oh six left in the fourth quarter. Rose, this is the boozer. Three on three. Here's Wade. No with the block. And it's out of bounds to the heat as Miami retains possession. Fifty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's been a good one for Mario Chalmers. He's got 17 points, and from downtown, he's buried three three-pointers. Yeah, when he's been able to get squared up and get a good look at the basket, it seems like everything's been going in. First free throw is good, and that narrows the gap to seven. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Forty seconds left in the fourth. Rose kicks to boost. Some solid defense from Batia. Hey, he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. LeBron with the bucket. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Puts them up by five. And he cannot. Chicago will retain possession. Eleven seconds left in the fourth quarter, and so they foul intentionally.
Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. Free throws go down, and the lead goes up. And the Heat call time here. They're trailing by seven. There's 10 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Is what you're saying? Well, this one's out of reach, so I'm not sure why they're calling the timeout here. Maybe just to try to work on something, maybe an out-of-bounds play or something. Well, they might as well talk about what movies they want to see or what they want to surf on the internet because... Chicago. There's ten seconds left in the fourth quarter. Let's it go with a three. It's good from beyond the arc. Five seconds left to play in the final quarter. And they still can with the intentional foul. Yeah, you got to freeze the clock. I mean, that's the enemy in this situation. A few misses at the line, and they're in good shape. First one to fall, trying to... So he comes at the line. Here's LeBron. This is it. And so the big win by Chicago in a tight game. Well, they don't get much more exciting than that, Clark. They sure don't. And when it was gut check time, this team kept their composure, kept their emotions in check, and got it done. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA. Five with me. Walk with him. Spy with me.